You gonna say bye? It's like no bye. words can express how much I love him. Um, he's a beautiful kid. Like, I mean, not just on the outside, but on the inside. Look, it's Keisha. Aiden's coming home from school. Hi, it's a special school which helps children like him. He's autistic, a sometimes devastating development disorder. Diagnosed at three, Aiden's now seven. Get him under red car. Yes, he did move. His mother, Yetta, pays for speech therapy. It helps him communicate. What does it say? Look. But there are days when he's a challenge. Look, Aiden. I think that being a parent in general is challenging. When you add the autism diagnosis, depending on the day, it could be horrendous. <laughs> um, it, it can be easier, I think. Um, it just depends on where you are at that day. Until now, it was thought autism affects one in 110 children. But in the first large-scale study of its kind, U.S. and Canadian researchers found the true figure could be closer to one in 38. This American-led survey reveals that unlike Aiden, there are many children on the autistic scale who haven't been diagnosed. That means they're not getting the help and support they need, and that could lead to problems now and later in life. A recent British study found there was no traces of an autism epidemic, a sharp rise in the number of cases. But the US team says doctors may simply be getting better at spotting the signs. There are children who can be found who have autism and who can be helped, but they are undetected and untreated. In fact, two thirds of the children that we found in our study were in mainstream schools, untreated, unrecognized. Autism is a global problem, not restrained by culture, ethnicity or borders. Scientists may be able to identify more people who have the symptoms. For the moment, there is no cure. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington. Mommy's gonna get the